Hello, welcome to Thailand. Now, if you remember, I had the um, the Sigmund CT800Y on a long-term test. I've brought it out to Thailand here. So, how's it been going on the golf course? Well, the magnification in this lens is fantastic. I think it's something like seven times. I can't remember. I didn't bring the instructions with me. What it means is I can get onto the flag very, very easily, better than my own. And I will admit that my own was in the same price range as this. So I'm finding I can hit the flag a lot easier. Slope works just fine. And on those occasions when you're a long way out, then you can press and hold the firing button and then you do a sweep. So you start pretty close to one side of the flag. It's going to show you a distance of what's in the background. And as soon as you pass the flag, then you get the vibration and then you get the correct distance to the flag. So how has that been going? Well, nine times out of 10 in single mode, I'm hitting the flag first time and I'm having to perhaps have a second stab at it, one out of ten. That's pretty decent, especially with my shaky hands. I've used the sweep maybe three or four times in 12 rounds of golf and only once did that let me down and I had to have a second go at it and it got it on the second time. I mean this the retail of this is 90 pounds it's not the retail price of the popular brand leader shall we say so i'd certainly say this works it's good value for money it does exactly what it says on the tin maybe just a fraction slower than something that costs three times as much as this so how accurate is it well I'll put up a few shots of some par threes and we'll see how accurate it is where I have been able to hit the ball the distance that this thing tells me it is. Now it comes with a magnetic strap which I haven't used. The reason I haven't used it is I've got a caddy out here and the caddy has two little pockets in her uniform. She usually puts a spare ball in one pocket and she'll take that off me and she'll put that in the other pocket. And then when we walk out onto the fairway with the camera and we get to the ball, then it comes out of her pocket. So I haven't actually needed to use the magnetic strap, but I have tried it on a few steel fittings out and about here and on my balcony and it sticks pretty well. So I'm gonna give that one a pass. So would I actually buy this? Well, I've already got one. This is just a test for me and I will pass this on to my son once this holiday is over. The other question is, this is rechargeable. So how long, how many rounds of golf can you get out of one charge? And the answer is, I don't know. I've played 12 rounds of golf and when I fire this, the battery is still showing full. Of course, as you know, if you have a GPS device, you get two or three rounds of golf out of that, maybe four if you're lucky. But of course, this isn't GPS, so it isn't running the battery down. I have no idea how many rounds of golf you get out of this, but it's considerably more than 12. And I shall pass it on to my son, and he'll have a go at it. So. A few shots that were measured with the CT800Y and their results. I think this is pretty decent for £90. Cheerio. You can only judge a tool by using it. That board next to the tee box said 154 yards. The laser agreed with it. What's a shame? It's up the laser will not help you with your putting. Oh, not quite hard enough. Now this flag is 
well below the horizon. And as I'm going over water and sand, precision is required. So by getting the correct yardage from the laser, then we can play good shots. Here I've got two bunkers to go over. And it's only with the laser that you can figure out whether you can get over them or not. And then getting a precise figure for your second shot is the only way you're going to get your birdie opportunity. Exactly pin high or a foot or so past. And it's the laser that gives you confidence Excellent. to actually go ahead and pick the correct club for the shot. Take this. Without being able to measure how much water I can cut off and whether I can reach the bunkers or not, I can't strike this with any confidence. I'm probably going to hit it way left and chicken out of the shot. By knowing that I can get this thing on dry land right in the middle. and no, not I can't reach, reach the I've bunker, well, I can set myself up for a shot to the green. Here I am, dry as a bone and not in the sand, thanks to the laser. A par 3 like this, the flag is cut just over the bunker on the left. The wind is left to right. Without having a good tool to do this with, there is no way you can hit an absolutely confident shot right down the banner. Exactly pin high, thanks to the laser. Oh, what a player. Birdie, I got you a two. Yeah, this thing was very, very good. I'm very pleased with it.